All right, listen up, folks. I'm gonna make this quick, so stay calm. But I'm not actually a YouTuber. I am a secret agent for the FBI. And here at the FBI, we fight tirelessly to protect the people, the good people of planet Earth. And we also invented portals. <laughs> Guys, I can't hold a straight face anymore. In case any of you hadn't noticed, I am not part of the FBI. I mean, why would they hire me? Look at my muscles. Oh, wait, there are none. That's exactly my point, guys. There is no way in a million years I would be a secret agent. But I did figure out how you can make portals out of anything to anywhere in Minecraft. And let's be real, that's way cooler than being a secret agent. <laughs> right, guys? Right? Right? <laughs> what? No, no one? Just me? <laughs> Now, before all of you click off the video saying, Ew, I stream, you have officially lost it. You are cuckoo in the brain because every professional Minecraft knows you can only build nether portals and end portals in Minecraft without mods or add-ons. But that's where I like to say you're a little bit wrong because I figured out how to do it without mods or add-ons. But what would my word be without a little bit of a demonstration? So have a look at Exhibit A, my portal, which I have built to an iceberg biome. Now you can see that iceberg biome, but you probably think I'm going to walk there and I'm still actually going to be in this plains biome. But nah, you're wrong. So let me just, uh, let me just educate you guys on the power of these uh, new portal technologies that I have found. All right, ready? Watch this, guys. Look at this. I walk up to the portal. Ready? And in three two, one, watch this, ready? Walk through the portal, and here goes nothing, and uh, poof. Now, some of you guys may not have noticed, but we actually just went through the portal. You may be thinking, really? Because it just seems like I can see the exact same thing as I could see when you were walking in the portal. But guys, check this out. We are inside the iceberg biome! Look at this, it actually works. Look at this, do you see a plains biome? No, no plains biome, that's right. Because we are now inside the iceberg biome. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit excited, but I mean, this is pretty cool, right guys? This is basically, this is crazy. You no longer have to travel by foot anywhere. You don't have to take horses, you don't have to take rails. You can build portals to anywhere you like and they look crazy legit. I mean, did you guys see? There was almost no loading time as I walked through that portal. Normally when you go to the nether or the end, there's a little bit of a lag time where it loads, but guys, there was only a millisecond of load time as I walked through that portal and bang. Look at this. Ah, it's so cool, guys. Now, I'm going to be showing you how you can build your very own portal out of anything you like in today's video. Near the end of today's video, we are going to check out a few other portal designs first so you guys can get some different ideas on how you want to do it because being able to build portals out of anything means you can literally do anything. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different designs and then I'll show you exactly the nitty gritty on how to do this in your world, guys. But I'm just so excited if you are as well. Leave a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you are on your channel, you always want to have the coolest builds before your friends do and show off to them with all your secret Minecraft knowledge. Well, you should probably slap the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding because trust me, what I'm about to teach you today is going to blow your mind. But let's get straight into it and check out the next portal design. So here we have another portal that looks like it goes to the desert biome, but you wouldn't really expect it to because you can kind of look around and see that we're in the savanna biome at the moment. It just doesn't make a lot of sense, but guys, nothing about this makes sense. It's just a work of pure beauty. So check this out, guys. We're going to walk through this portal and bang, here we are inside the desert biome. Do you see that? Did you see that, guys? Look at that! This is so clean! Like, that is actually the smoothest portal ever. Nether portals and portals stand inside because look at that, guys. There's our portal to the desert. Looks absolutely insane. It's crazy. It looks, it looks great. And look at this. It's a great way for travel. So that's our desert portal. I'm going to show you our next design, which is our portal to the mineshaft. Ooh, very fancy. Again, another ordinary looking portal. It just looks like a room that goes into a mineshaft. But no, it's more than a room. It's a portal. Watch this. And click. Boom. Check this out, guys. We are now inside a mineshaft. How epic is that? This is so cool, guys. I mean, this is a mineshaft. You literally can't get much cooler than this at all, guys. We literally made a portal that now goes underground. So you guys have seen, we've done portals from different biomes underground. It's crazy. I'm going to show you two more awesome portal designs, and I'm going to show you exactly 
how I am pulling this off, how I'm doing this crazy magic. Now this here is our jungle portal. You guys already know how these things work by now. Watch this, ready and poof. And look at this. We are now inside the jungle. Is that not awesome? I guess. Okay, by now, surely you must think that these are getting pretty cool. But yeah, I'm about to show you one portal that will top all of these. And that's a portal that goes inside a villager's house. <laughs> Let's do this. And ladies and gentlemen, for my final demonstration, the village portal. This looks like it goes straight into a villager's house. And watch this. It does. Ready? And boom. Check this out, guys. We're now inside... A village. How epic is that? We literally walk through these portals and boom, we enter a whole new world. We're now inside a village. You can use these to travel anywhere. They're just so flipping awesome, guys. But okay, I know I've shown you a ton of really great designs and uses for these portals, but you probably all want to know how to get them. Now, I'm sure for some of you with those really keen eyes, you've noticed there is something a little bit up at these portals. Something seems to happen. Something seems not quite right. And that's because they aren't just simply portals. They're magic tricks. Let's go back to the original desert portal and I'll see if you guys can spot what's different about these magic portals. Now, you see, most magicians would never reveal their secrets, but I... On the other hand, I'm educating all of you how you can show up to all your friends and really impress them with this magic trick. Now, this magic trick isn't actually as hard as it would seem. It is simply an optical illusion. Huh, very interesting. As you guys can see, yes, what you see through the portal is actually just a mini desert biome. It, it doesn't seem to make any sense. You guys can see that this whole time I've been standing directly in front of the portal here where you can't see the behinds and the sides. And you can imagine if you hit it like in the side of a mountain, you wouldn't even be able to see these sides, guys. So how is it that when I walk through here, I suddenly move into the desert biome? Interesting, right, guys? But you can see here, once again, we have a mini desert thingy set up and this desert build this kind of like clump thing we've built here is exactly identical to what we saw when we walked in the portal you guys can see look at that exactly identical interesting now what if i told you that this illusion was simply a replica of the other illusion just over here check this out guys so these things are simply optical illusions that look like you are going through into another dimension but you're not really. You can see we're still in the same world. So how does this all work? Well, by the power of magic. Not really, but Minecraft magic. So you're probably still mind boggled. How does this work? We don't get it. Well, let me show you guys. We're gonna start off by building ourselves one of these kind of like mini clump things. Now, obviously you guys saw the other designs I showed earlier in the video and you can build any of those designs if you want in your own world. You just go ahead after you finish watching this tutorial, you can scroll back to the start of the video and copy those designs if you want. But the desert one definitely is the easiest to replicate. First thing you need to do is pick an area where there is a clear skyline, so no trees in the way. As you guys can see, when I look through this portal, you can see the sky, you can see the blue sky, but you don't see any trees or anything behind it. So it's really Really important you get a clear skyline. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and build your portal design. So in this case, we're going to use our chiseled sandstone blocks as our portal. Here we go, and we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, and we'll go ahead and complete the portal. Now you may notice that we've decided to put the bottom blocks in the floor instead of actually, you know, building it like you would a nether portal where you kind of have the blocks here. And that's for a very important reason. Make sure that your blocks are in the floor or this optical illusion is not going to work. Once you guys have done that, you want to pick a design that's going to allow you to look through the portal and see what appears to be another biome. Now, to do this is actually really tricky. You see here, you actually need two blocks directly attached to your portal, whatever design you're using, whether it is desert or whether you're using dirt, it doesn't matter. But you need two blocks here, then it comes out, one block to the left, three blocks, and one block out here. You guys can see that it's a symmetrical design. That way, when you stand here, guys, your the portal actually blocks out the blocks on the side. But if you see, if I place one here, you can see it there, and it kind of ruins the illusion. So it's really important that you build it in this order. So let's go ahead and do that over here. We're going to go one, two, one, two, three, one. Let's do this on this side. One, two, one, two, three, one. All right, like so. So you guys can see we've got this kind of like funnel 
uh, build, I guess you could say. It needs to be symmetrical. That's really important. The rest of this is a lot easier. We're going to start off by placing one block here and here. This is just to give a better vibe. Then you can kind of make up whatever you want for this back half. All that it needs to do is get high enough so that it's almost touching the top of this portal here. So you can pretty much make up whatever you want. But for this sake, guys, we're going to actually just go ahead and copy the design we made over here. So let's go ahead, bang, bang, bang. We'll, you know, we'll just put some blocks here. And as I said, you really can fill this in and just needs to get higher. There's no exact method or rhyme or reason to this, guys. As long as you've got that basic pattern, which I showed you guys early on, this should work absolutely fine. So here we go, guys. We're, we're kind of putting something together here. This needs to be just a little bit higher. Okay, that's the same height as there now. All right, really, really cool. Um, I think this is coming along pretty nicely. Yeah, as you guys can see, that looks pretty legit. We might even go like a little bit higher just to be a bit more realistic there. Uh, we might place a block there. That looks pretty good to me. We might even add in a cactus and a dead bush just for that extra bit of detail and realism. So let's go ahead. Uh, cactus, cactus, and we'll put a dead bush over here. Okay, looks pretty good to me. We might actually, yeah, okay, that's that's really detailed. Really nice. So there is our portal design. At the moment we walk through, nothing happens. We need to actually go ahead and replicate this build somewhere in a desert biome. So as you guys can see over here, we have this copy here, uh, and we have one over there. Now it's super important that they're facing the same direction. So as you guys can see, this block, they're all facing towards uh, towards this swamp biome. It's really important that you have the portals facing the same direction, or when you walk through them, it's going to jolt up and basically break your game. So make sure, guys, you have them in the same direction. So here we go, guys. There's our portal. Let's go ahead and build the exact same thing we built over there, over here. All right, I'm going to do this real quick, guys, and I'll see you in a sec. Just real quick, guys, the easiest way to copy your build over is actually to fly over the top of your build, or if you're in survival, build your way over the top of the build. Then take a screenshot, or in my case, I like to grab my phone, take a photo of it, and then I like to use this photo to go ahead and copy that over to my other portal. So yeah, that's a really nice tip you can get uh, and use to make sure that they are absolutely identical. All right, I'll get back to building this. And there you have it, guys. Here is our identical portal built on both sides of the map. Now, these can be as far apart as you like. I put them next to each other just so you guys can easily see them, and I'm not flying literally hundreds of miles away to get to both of them. But now that we've built them, it's time to add the magic, the Minecraft magic, also known as command blocks. So if you don't know how to get a command block, guys, it's really easy. Just in chat, you type slash give space at, so the, like the A symbol with the uh, squiggle around it. You want to do P space command underscore block hit enter and whoo, check this out guys we've got a command block you're also going to need a redstone comparator once you guys have your command block and comparator you want to come directly here and on the left side of the portal you're going to break one block and another block down you're going to place a command block right there then you're going to break two blocks this way two blocks down again we have some water in the way i'm just going to get rid of that there guys then coming out of this command block you're going to place the redstone comparator and another command block like so. Next step, guys, is you want to go ahead, open up to your options menu. You want to go to settings. And here in the game options, you want to scroll down till you see show coordinates and turn that on. As you guys can see, top left hand corner, we now have our coordinates. And those are going to be super, super important in just a second. So what we're going to do is on this left hand corner of the portal, you want to stand here and you guys can see we've got coordinates in the top left hand corner. Mine is 130-67144. Yours will be different. Make sure you write down whatever your coordinates are in the bottom left hand corner of your portal. Then you want to come to the command block directly under your portal. You want to open up, switch to repeat, always active. And you want to do test four at P. And then you want to do square bracket x equals and you want to type in whatever your first number is it will be different to mine mine in this case if you look at the top left hand corner is one three zero so we're going to go x we're going to go uh one three zero then we're going to go comma y equals and you want to type in whatever your second number is for me that is 67 so we're going to go 67 then we're going to go comma z equals and you're going to type in your third number which for me is 144 remember your numbers will be different then you want to do comma r equals one and then do a square bracket like so. Now, as you guys can see, when I get near the command block, it's going to turn on this comparator. When I walk away, it turns off. Make sure you test this before you go ahead. Once that's done, guys, you're going to open up this command block here. You want to go TP at P, and this is going to be the hard bit. You need to get the coordinates of your portal over here. So if we jump right over here, right in front of our portal, you want to stand here exactly on the left-hand side block right here, 
and you want to write down the coordinates. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to take another photo of them. So let's go ahead and let me do that. All right, one, two, four, six, four, three, seven. Okay, I've taken that photo of them. We're going to jump back over to our mini portal over here. And inside this second command block, we're going to TP space at P space. And you're going to type in the numbers that you wrote down from your other uh, portal, guys. So we're going to go one, two, four, six, four, three, seven. You guys can see those are my numbers. All right, cool. Once we've done that, guys, you can cover this up and we are done. It is actually really, really simple. This optical illusion is all about the trickery, guys. The magic of it all. And it looks fantastic. Ready? Let's walk through this. And boom. Check that out, guys. And look at that, we are inside the desert biome. It's pretty flipping awesome, at least in my opinion, guys. The transition is so, so clean and so smooth with these portals, guys. It actually looks so legit and it looks better than like in a nether portal and portal. You have to wait for it to load. But these portals, you don't have to wait for them to load. They look epic. They really will make all your friends jealous because these things just look so cool. Like, look at that. That was so smooth, guys. And of course, you don't just have to do it between desert biomes and all that stuff. I showed you all this design at the start of today's video. As long as you follow similar rules to what I've just shown you there, guys, you can go ahead, jump back to the start of this video and build whatever your favorite portal is in your very own Minecraft world, guys. So I'm really excited to see what all of you guys do and make with this design. I'd really love to see your design, so make sure to take photos of them and send them to me on either Twitter, Instagram, or in our group chat Discord, which you guys can reach all of those in the description below. I can't wait to see your builds. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave a like, subscribe. Till next time, guys. Anyway, stream out. Bye!